Damn it. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know your bro. Clear up soon? Wait a minute, the traffic man? I'm supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. I'm gonna get written up for this. Oh, relax. It's not your fault. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince! Justin's gonna make me! It's too hot for this shit. Vids, I'm making him hot now. Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. <laughs> I knew it. I got that Latin heat you can't resist. Come here, boy. You guys ever gonna quit? How else we gonna pass the time? Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The windows. Hey, don't Justin. Open. See right, that guy man. in the beat-up truck? Ain't right. I bet Shut he lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is... I'm not like that. My lawyer's gonna be here Tell about you what, this. guys, I ain't afraid to say it. When he I'm hears about really this. missing my girlfriend right now. You I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. I swear, you don't quit running your it's worse than that, ma'am. She won't talk to me. I haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know. I love her, man. What's it matter, man? You're headed to jail. Never heard of a conjugal visit? Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up I thought you took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I ain't telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit and tell them you didn't know what you were up. doing? Or I'll set you up. I lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. I gotta admit, I'd say anything to get out of doing more time. You guys are messed up. Says the criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, a uh, A pyramid scheme. Aren't those kinda... shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. Good shit is still shit. This was some pretty elegant shit. Yeah, well, enjoy your elegant cell, you know? Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! 
Oh, when we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids? You touch a couple kids, Vince? I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. I had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. But that's a hard thing to carry, you know? Doesn't really matter. What's done is done. I hear you. How'd they get you? Tossed the gun up on a roof. And? It was a good throw, and a roofer found it the next day. You gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. Bad luck, Vince! <laughs> That's not bad. What do you think, Justin? What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck you? It? Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh, man. What the hell is going on Grab tree, here? knock it off! Hey, get in there, man! Hey, let him go, man! David Crabtree! Don't let me come back He's there gonna now. kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Vince, we gotta do something. You know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? Where's your common fucking sense? Help him, Danny! What's that? Speak up, boy. I can't Fucking chain's too short! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time, man. God damn it. You gotta get in get there. Get yourself in there and wait that shit up now. Come on, boy, get back there. Okay, asshole. Let him go. Get in between them, god damn it. He's gonna kill that boy. Crabtree? Last what warning. Knock so him let out. Let him go, god damn it. What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy! Damn. Answer me back! That guy's there. still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! What the hell was that? He he made a move on me! I, I, I don't know! He made a move? Or you don't know? Which one? He's still breathing? He's uh Fuck! Fuck! You gotta call someone, man! What? I'm calling this in. Don't. Don't call it in yet. Just... Just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. Dispatch, come in. He might still be alive. Call a damn ambulance, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. I'll calm down when you quit running your fucking mouth. Everything's cool. Just... Take a breath, okay? Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. What the fuck? you see that? I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. You're not man. going anywhere! Fuck that! Get this bus moving! Hey, driver! I said let's go, we're man! We're staying right here! We're safe inside the bus! Nothing's gonna- Holy shit! Jesus! Oh my god! Hey! Hey! You need to call someone! You hear me? We need to- did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck, fuck, fuck! He can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get him. Shit, what are we doing, guys? Come on! We gotta do something! Find a weapon. What kind of weapon? Where's the guard's gun? Yeah, yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me. Get 
the gun, man. Get up, Vince. Ah, hurry up. Shoot this asshole, Vince. Do it. Oh, watch it, man. Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. Man, that guy sure did a number on him. Tore his damn throat out. Fuck this. Nothing. The chain runs through that loop that's welded to the floor. No chance of busting that. Where are the damn keys, man? They weren't on him. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot fuck in you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! Chain runs through that loop that's well to the floor. No chance of busting it. Shoot the chains, man! Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work! Need those keys. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way! Can't we just... shoot off the chains? No way! Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right are out! Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's gun? Well, what do you think is gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! Vince! What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry. No, 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 you can't! I have a family. Please. Oh! 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 Shit! Still attached. Again! Do it! Oh! 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 Go the soul! Oh! 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 God! Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but... I still worry. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week?
That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What? Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. This hasn't worked in a long time. Smells good. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Next time we venture out for supplies, I gotta remember to look for light bulbs, too. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. 
I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that suit. Again. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here! Everyone! Shit! Come on! We gotta find Roman! Let's mop them. So can be there. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know. And I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck this is in. The second break in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. They got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he, he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. <sighs> We can find a way for him to help. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the stranger's boat the whole time. And at the first opportunity, used us to take it from his group at gunpoint. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. 
In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ, are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Give him some food. Three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you, uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. What was that all about? Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back.
Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive? We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? No. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. I just want to get it over with. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now.
I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell! Be safe, Bob. Shell, he's What the fuck? God damn it! Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign. Well... I'm thinking... Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, you asked the question, Haas. Okay, how about... Well, oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, so, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Take a hike, Big Ears. I resemble that remark. You resemble a satellite. You know, you weren't so damn sassy before. Guess that's a good sign. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland. Thank you. Bonnie, uh... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Where have you been, D? We were just talking while we waited for you, huh? And what were you talking about? Oh, um, the rain. Won't let up today. Huh, well, sounds like real stimulating conversation. Glad I missed it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. So, where'd you get the bag, Dee? Dee? Dee, did you hear me? Let's keep moving. I feel like I've been in a washing machine all day. I'd kill for a towel right now. Or a blow dryer. <laughs> yes, good lord, deliver us a blow dryer. Hey, Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon, you like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt a girl talk here, but, uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? 
wear down the road. Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Quit being so cagey about it. Me? Cagey? You two are the ones being cagey. Calm down, Dee. Just tell us where you found the bag. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. Hush, but you are the one down. who made Come me on stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And you're now gonna draw every dead thing from miles around. Rain you keep on like this. Goddamn middle of nowhere you place. On you listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. To blast. Oh, forget the both of you. I'm leaving. Don't leave, please. We can sort this out. Oh, Lord, give me strength. We'll straighten this out. We will, right, D? We, we can solve this out. We just need to get somewhere else. Oh, now you agree with me. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling! D, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. D, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. I, I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Wait up, yo! Are you? Keep moving. We gotta be closing in. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Why? 
you. Why? Do, do, do I love you? How bad is it? Bonnie? It was dark. It's so dark. I, I couldn't see you. I, I didn't know it was you. How was I supposed to know it was you? Mm. There, there was no... Mm. I thought I saw you. You, you did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never dark out here. trusted you. Just, just a junkie. <laughs> Leland, she, she did this to me. I, I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I saw seen him. Look at you. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You, bitch. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't thank you. Had the stones. Leland is just a friend. I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God. You fucking junkie. D, D, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? D, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. Arlena, what happened to you? Your face, her face, Bonnie. I had to. I, I thought what? you would... What do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said? It really was an accident, Leyland. It, it really... You did this? You did this to my D? Hey, she came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? There weren't nothing I could have done. It was dark and she... She came out of nowhere, Leland. Jesus. I, I believe you, but... Oh, God. Back this way! Oh, I no, feel sick. Going... Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. Leave you here. Call out if you this see way. him. We can't stay here forever. I think I saw something over here. They went this way! What the hell are you doing? If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Hurry up, ready! Here, man. Shoot! Get him, man! Jesus, man. Holy shit, man, did you get them? Are they back there? Wyatt? 
Dude, are they there or not? Come on! Wyatt, talk words at me, man! I don't see anything. Are you sure? Those guys wouldn't just give so up. I don't see anything. Here, here, I'll turn off. that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I can't see a damn thing out here. Man, I'm just, man, this is so fucked. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, Wyatt. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. Dude, you are covered in that guy's blood. I know, Wyatt. My shirt is soaked. It's like, I just, why didn't they say anything? The guy's taking his shit over there. That's all they had to say. It's bullshit. I'm sure it was an accident. I'm not. I wish I was, but... Ah! Ow. <laughs> Look, Wyatt. All I know is those guys had me all... jacked up, like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? But then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. I'm sorry, man, I... Well, thanks for getting us out anyway. Let there be light, huh? Dude, shut up. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? Probably fine. We don't even know where we are. Yes, we do. We're in the middle of the hills have eyes. The hills have lips. The hills have balls. The balls have eyes? The... What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, leave me alone. It's been a long night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Really? See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I can't see anything out there. Who are you talking to? You? Oh, what did you say? Foggy. Oh my god, what? Shut up. Remember when TJ got high and tried to put a pancake in the CD player? No. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her. And she told me that when she was five, I think, her dad took her to the circus sideshow. He walked around for a while, saw the chick with two heads. Saw a dude with lobster hands. Some kind of monkey human with a dick for a face. I don't know. She all think loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, but okay. Shit! Ah! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. I think it... I think he was alive. Ah! Let's see if there's anything around the car. 
You know, anything that'll like tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. What's that way out in the road? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Stop messing around. We need to know what's going on, okay? That's not gonna help. Okay, okay. Jeez. Look. Wyatt. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there! What about the guys in the truck? Man, fuck those guys! If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. What if this guy is like the guys in the truck? He ain't gonna be much of a threat after we bounced him off the hood. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. <sighs> Fine. I'll go. Give me the gun. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. Then why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. Okay. Well... Shit, okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Are you fucking serious? No. Come on. Sitting here is making me nervous. No way, man. You're nuts. I'm clear as shit, Wyatt. This is the only way it's fair. Fair? How is this fair? You shot that guy back there, you hit that thing in the road, none of that shit is my fault! Alright, I'll go. That's okay. That makes sense. Okay. Just go out there. Take a look. I'll go, you pussy. Give me the gun. No, man. Not fair. Come on, man. You usually win anyway. <laughs> Forget it. You wanna go out there, that's your business. I'll wait right here where it's safe. Looks like it's me. in the car! No fucking way, man! What if it was you? Eddie! You see something? Do you see anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Eddie! What's happening? Hurry up, man! Dude, leave me the fuck alone, alright? This is my speed. Here, in case we need to get out of here quick. Way to go, idiot! Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. Die. Shit, where the hell do they go? This is the smallest hoopty in the world. Hey, maybe I can see better with that guy on. There you are, you piece of shit. Why didn't he just leave them in the ignition? Ah, son of a 
of a bitch! Shouldn't have maybe taken so many cans. I've been walking forever. I've got like 60 miles left, I think. Ain't shit. Hey! You getting up? Good. Oh, I miss the days of taking shortcuts. Probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. Maybe this dude can give me a ride. Maybe. Bang! That just kills you. You're either stupid as fuck, or you think you're tough shit. Or both, I guess. I don't want no trouble. Please. Standing out here like this ain't gonna get you nothing but trouble. Just leave me alone, please. I'm not hurting no one. How do I know that? Maybe you're just walking this highway looking for some tail. You're gonna end up hurting somebody. Maybe killing you right now does our troubled country some good. But honestly, I ain't no do-gooder. I'm gonna let you live. Okay. So you have some balls on you just standing there like that. You get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't. What's your name? Rough. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. Fine. Fuck. See if I give a shit. Okay. Yeah. I'd like a ride. That'd be good. Thanks. Hell yeah! Get in! Let's tear it up! I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she liked the party? Just get in. We'll get there. For somewhere. Eventually. <laughs> Name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. <coughs> Good shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. You'll get used to it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. Alright, fine. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Sure, yeah. 
I mean, I'll tell you about who I was with. Don't leave out any juicy deets, all right? Huh. <laughs> uh, okay. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They were all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was found, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, help! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Fuck! Tell me, Russ. Ten, okay? Ten, you psycho! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What is you load that? Bullets in the glove there. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Alright. Oh shit! Go! Get Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it! Just run! I'll keep his fucking head down! Good hustle! What happened to- I'll cover you! Look how good you did! All right. What are we gonna do? First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Come on, just a peek. He won't be down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. Alright, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! Uh, uh, End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, 
We'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll go first. Attaboy, Russ. All ass. All right, I'm good. Heads up. Nice. As soon as you start shooting, I'm coming. There and we should be good. Go! Thanks. We're not done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Just jump out and grab him. Your call. here you monsters whoa gramps i told you not to come back here think you could just leave your mask at home and now you're with this fucking spook first off watch the fucking racism this is my boy secondly i don't fucking know you we were just passing by like anyone else bullshit you came back to finish us off and take all our food you've lost your goddamn marbles she's dying and now she can see your face mask What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. Have you been here before? Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I seen. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No.
We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. 